What's up guys, it's Q and welcome to my childhood. <laughs> I grew up on this game and this game is terrific, it's amazing. If you haven't heard of Jack and Dexter, I, I advise you go out, buy the game and play it for yourself because this is one of the best early and even a pretty whole pretty well like platforming games there is out there. Like you can get can't get it much better than this. But aside from my fanboys and my side, I'm deciding I'm gonna start a new series and I'm gonna give all that information about that well after we go to the we start the game. So let's do that real quick. New game. I've played this plenty of times but it doesn't hurt doing one X time. And even this last save file that I tried to record last time, but there was some audio issue, so I'm gonna have to do this again. So please it goes way better, but without further ado, let's get into the story. I have spent my life searching for the answers that my father and my father's fathers failed to find. Who were the precursors? Why did they create the vast monoliths that litter our planet? How did they harness Eco, the life energy of the world? What was their purpose, and why did they vanish? I have asked the plants, but they do not remember. The plants have asked the rocks, but the rocks do not recall. Even, Even the rocks, rocks do, do not, not recall. recall. Every bone in my body tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of a young boy. There is that man. Oblivious to his destiny, uninterested in the search for truth, and rejecting of my guidance. And why would he want to listen to old Samus the Sage anyway? I'm only the master of Green Eco, one of the wisest men on the planet. <sighs> So it seems the answer begins not with careful research or sensible thinking. Nay, as with many of fate's mysteries, it begins with but a small act of disobedience. Hey, uh, Jack, old green stuff told us not to come here. with anybody who strays from the village. We will attack it in due time. What are we doing here anyway, Jack? This place gives me the creeps. Stupid precursor junk. Eek! What is that dark ooze? It sure don't look friendly. <gasps> the sage yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time. Where did they go? Why did they build this crap? Now, I like precursor orbs and power cells as much as the next guy. But if you ask me, they must have been real losers. Wow! How did you do that? I think we're in trouble! Oh. Oh. And there goes Dexter. <laughs> That always makes me laugh. <laughs> Doesn't matter how many times I've seen it. What in green tarnation do you two want? We, we, we was, they was, I, I was. Don't tell me. Instead of heeding my wisdom, 
The two of you went mucking around in the only place that I told you not to go. Misty Island. That's right. And then... And, Daxter, you finally took a much-needed bath, but in a bathtub filled with dark eco. Look, old man. Are you going to keep yapping, or are you going to help me out of this mess? I'm going to keep yapping, because in my professional opinion, the change is an improvement. And besides, Ouch. I couldn't help you if I wanted to. What? There's only one person who has studied Dark Eco long enough to have a chance at returning you to your previous form. Carl Acheron, the Sage. But he lives far to the north. Far, far to the north. Nobody has spoken to him in ages. I would teleport you there, but I can't do that either. None of the three sages that maintain the other teleporter gates have seen fit to turn their ends on for quite a while. The only other way north is by foot through the Fire Canyon, but its volcanic soil is hot enough to melt precursor metal. You can't just walk through it. But you could fly over it if you had a zoomer equipped with well, a shield. I just happen to be working on such a thing at this very moment. All I would need is 20 power cells to give it enough energy to withstand the canyon's heat. Isn't that right, Daddy? Yes, Kira, that might work. But where are a boy and a half going to get 20 power cells? From the villagers. Most of them have a power cell or two stashed away somewhere. And even if they aren't willing to just give them away, greasing their palms with a few precursor orbs should do the trick. And I bet there are even more of them out in the wilds just waiting for some brave adventurer to find. Well, we've got the brave adventurer at least. Brave adventurer? You two couldn't find your way out of the village without training. Before you do anything else, you better go through the warp gate and get some practice on Geyser Rock. Uh, we won't find any more of that dark gooey eco stuff, will we? Cause I'd hate to fall in again and turn into you. Get in there! Before I turn you both into ferns! And there we are! We're in the game! It's finally started. This is the tutorial error, so I'm not gonna pay too much attention to what they're saying. With it, my father and I can give you advice at any time during your quest. So yeah, I started this new series. I mentioned it in the last episode of Dark Souls. The BCD uploaded episode. The BCD uploaded the episode from Dark Souls. I mentioned that I will start a new series at the side. So it... There's still something going up in the channel between the time of me editing the next Dark Souls episode because it takes more time. This this is a simple game, it's not too much difficult, it doesn't require as much won't require as much energy. And then you guys still have something to watch. For my area, my side. Yeah. Power cell. Is a power cell. The most important precursor artifact you can find. You need to collect 20 of these so I can power the heat shield for your A-Grab Zoomer. So get used to dance moves, because after grabbing every power cell, you get hit with a fucking dance move. <laughs> and there are a lot of power cells in the game, like a lot. <laughs> so we're going to see a lot of dance moves. So like I said, this is just a tutorial area. Teach us how we do things and most important parts of the game, like this scout flies. You found one of my scout flies. I sent seven of them to each area to look for power cells, but the lurkers must have captured them all. Seven, which grants a power cell, which more dance moves. <laughs> Get used to those damn wow. people. Get that used to it. Had a power cell. I'll bet if you collect all seven in each area, you can find even more power cells. But I didn't realize that the village was right there. The same as hurt. I played this this many times and never realized that the world is just like there, the village. Interesting. That's blue eco, which contains the energy of motion. Blue eco allows you to run fast break boxes and even activate some precursor artifacts yep. when you get near them. It also attracts nearby items when you're near so you don't have to directly grab it. 
and waste boxes like he said. This is gonna be 100% one. Each blue eco cluster you pick up increases the time you can use its power. Yep. Even though this is like a simple series out on the side, I'm still going to go for 100% one. All the power cells, precursor orbs, and scout flies. Because it's very easy to do so. <laughs> it's very easy. Uh, the game lets you know what you miss and stuff. Very easy to keep, keep track of. And it's fun to like complete it 100%. Oh, nice. One of the precursor dwarves. You need blue eco. This is a precursor door. It can only be opened by approaching the door while channeling Blue Eco through your body. Then let's go to the Blue Eco vent that's right over there. That's a Blue Eco vent. More concentrated than the floating clusters, this vent will give you a full charge of Blue Eco, letting you use it for the maximum time. <laughs> And doors open. Power cell! Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. I need you guys to, every time you pick up a <laughs> power cell, you need to do some type of dance. <laughs> like it's Lana. Those little green balls of energy on the ground are a type of eco. Pick up 50 small green ecos or one big green one to increase your health. Yeah, green eco, like you said, comes in two types of ways. Aside from the very rare vents that are these little small clusters that every enemy dwells when they get killed. Or the huge big one that's sometimes in areas to reach even higher ledges. I see what I told you about it's uh, easy to keep track of the game tells you when you have everything in the area so it's hard to miss and even if we go into the menu it tells you like for power cells we got all the scout flies in the area and then the peak or orbs and that is the tutorial ever. Good training, boys. But that's nothing compared to the challenges that lie ahead. And in no problem. We got the moves, eh, Jack? We'd love to stay in chat, Big Green, but we're, uh, itching to get on with our adventures. Fine, fine. Adventure away, then. And while you're out adventuring, why don't you make yourself useful? My darn green eco-collectors are clogged up again. Head out to the far side of the beach and clear them out, why don't you? Follow the lamps. They'll take you right there. Now, all of you, Get out of here! <laughs> Alright, let's go. Also, how do you, how are you guys like the music of this game? So upbeat. Like so innocent. Like. So much nostalgia hearing this music and playing this game. And also if you haven't noticed Jack isn't silent protagonist. He doesn't talk in this game. He does in later in reincarnations, but <laughs> not in this one. So Dexter is going to do most of the talking and the other main characters and hey, side characters. Looks like scout flies are always in red boxes. That is true, Dexter. Thank you for sharing. Let's talk to the mayor. Oh, don't tell me that you two have problems as well. The first I hear of monster sightings near the village, and now this. See those gears up there, boys? See them? See how they're not moving? That means our village has no power. The eco beam coming from the jungle temple has been interrupted. 
Boys, everyone's too frightened to go out and, and find out what's happened. Did you pay the bill? Yeah. Hmm? Oh, 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 you're funny. <laughs> Did the funny. Now look, if you two fix the eco beam, I'll give you a power cell. Oh, and, and another thing. If by any chance you're interested in making a contribution to my re-election campaign, I, I might be willing to part with yet another power cell. The minimum contribution is a, oh, a very modest 90 precursor orders. Oh, very modest. So yeah, the power cells are directly the progression in this game. You need those to... Like I said, progress. <laughs> As I stated, this is obvious. The precursor orbs is basically the currency in this game. You go, you use that to buy power cells from pillagers or the oracle. The oracle we see later. He's somewhere over there and multiple areas. And villagers like him, him will sell us power cells for precursor orbs. Well done. Hello there, my dear boy. You've caught me at a most inopportune moment. Uh, I was to set off on my journey yesterday, but I seem to be a spot short on the old precursor orbs. I would have pledged my word that I had 90 of them, but I gather that your young friend, you know, the little annoying, miserably ugly one, might have just pilfered them as a sort of a spot of fun. Anyway, uh, would you be kind enough to loan your dear old uncle 90 precursor orbs so he can get underway? I would offer you a power cell in return. Okay, let's move along. We're going to that side because that's the way to activate the blue eco. What the mayor wants. Wait, that's a picture of it. What a horribly sick little bird. <laughs> you don't look so good yourself, lady. Got him. Oh, sorry, I thought you were a spotted orange bellied ring friend. You know, yesterday I saw some terribly vicious creatures capture a mother flut flut near the beach. Now there's this poor little orphan egg sitting in a nest at the top of the cliff, and I can't get to it. If you could climb up there and push it off, I've piled some hay down at the base to catch it safely. Do an old lady a favor, and I'll give you a power cell. Everything is power cells. The most important item in the game. Ooh, there you have one of those blue eco... Loot box, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what to call it exactly. Whoa, don't fall. Yeah, every time you go with the blue eco, towards one of these things, it gives you orbs. Talk to this guy. As I heard the south fly. Oh, it's you. Oh, just resting my tired bones. I've been trying to get those unreal cows back into the pen all day. Some strange creatures tried to steal them earlier. You think you could help an old man try to get him back into the corral? Yep, there it is. And he wants us to hurt back these animals, the Yakos. Which is probably the easiest mission in the game. Because we just have to run behind them, then they'll run away from us. But if you're impatient like me, you just beat the fuck out of them <laughs> and then move faster. And there I didn't do it really that well. <laughs> but you get the gist of it. Yep, see? Easy. Gone. This way. Yep. <laughs> and we just keep punching them. It's fine, they'll survive. It's not that. It doesn't hurt. <laughs> Don't copy it on me. I'm just bringing them back to their home. They're very confused and scared and need to be with their family, you know? And sometimes I have to like push them the right way. Because otherwise they will be lost forever. <laughs> Go! Go faster! <laughs> no, go faster. But yeah, I love animals. 
I would never hurt animals like this. See? There's this friendly deaths I'm doing. Don't worry about it. They're, don't, they're not hurting at all. <laughs> Move, you piece of shit. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, we finish this mission, so we he owes us about something. Ah, well done, my boy. You actually got those flea bags back into the pen. Now I can sleep in peace. Take this power cell for your trouble. Are you guys still dancing? I need you to dance every time. <laughs> Grab a few of these precursor herbs and then move along. Also, you're gonna see me transport in this fashion because it's way faster than just spawning. Just do this tumble. Very quick. <laughs> okay, so now we are in our official, like, real area. That's not a tutorial area and not the hub. With very the dangers ahead. This is the forbidden jungle. Right. Ooh, hear this music? We scrounged enough orbs to trade for a power cell. Let's get back and make the switch already! This is easy enough. What I love about this game is that it's not really like that hard of a platforming game. It gets challenging at times, but it's not crazy unfair or anything. And it's fun! The world aesthetic is amazing. Like every world has an, it, their own like unique thing about it. I do eat this snake though. Do you guys love the snake noises? <laughs> I don't. I always hated that since I was a kid. Because or because of herbs. So this way to fix the blue eco fence that the oh, <laughs> that's the other joke. We'll talk to him later. <laughs> yeah, this is the way to activate the blue eco fence for the mayor. It's simple platforming, but very fun. Also, I did see those because herbs there, but there's another way to get all of those. Ah, oh, okay, that was... I don't know what I did there. Ah, shit. Fuck. Okay, it's two scout flies. Remember, we need seven to get the power cell from it. Where did they need though? Hey, those there are our, our first lurkers. This is what they are called. We will see them a lot of <coughs> like everywhere basically. Also, he, he really hit me there, that's crazy. I just walked into him. Oh, look at that wall building. Activate that. Yeah, cool. Remember, going for the 100% of all, we need everything. 
fun fact to get the all the power sets you need all the precursor up because there's a exact amount that you need to spend like all of them in order to get all the power cells so if, if you miss like one precursor orb you miss one power cell also that's my, one of my favorite things those <laughs> boost things. Very fun. But look at this aesthetic. Also look at this shortcut. I'm not going to take that last platform. Because it's very easy to follow <laughs> off of those. I'm not going to risk that. Okay, missed that. It's fine. 